Hey YouTube, just want to do a little video on my MPPT controller. It's an Intronix. Seems to be working great. I'm really happy with it. It's made in USA, which is great. Not like this China stuff here. I have it hooked to two six volt car batteries, or uh, golf cart batteries. Um, they're energizers. I got them at Sam's Club for like 80 bucks a piece. They're the GC2s. They are uh, 207 amp hours. I'm going to get a couple more so I can get up to about 414 amp hours on that. But have that wired in series for 12 volt, 2 6 volts in series. Um, back to the Centronics. It was, you know, I'm, I'm just using this for emergency. Most of the time I'll have everything going into the grid, my wind and then my solar, but. So I won't be using this a whole lot unless that's emergency. And then to charge my batteries, you know, maybe once every two weeks. This Intronix, though, it's. What I was impressed with, it cost me about, I think it was around $300, and it's 75 amps, which is pretty good. Um, it has about everything the more expensive ones have. It, it also, you can, you can have 12 volt or 24 volt so I like that part about it too it's temperature compensated has the LCD display it has user adjustable points with some small dip switches in here where you can have a couple different settings for like the float higher a little higher or lower float settings um, you can disable the it has equalization which you can disable that or enable it I have it disabled right now since I'm not really using it a whole lot um, the maximum panel input voltage is 80 volts DC maximum battery voltage is 65 volts DC it has a 25 amp auxiliary load rated output which is right here that's for like 12 volts you could hook a refrigerator up to it or any 12 volt lights or whatever you want up to the rated amps on that um, this thing's all stainless steel hardware too so I'll kind of go through it a little bit the LCDs if you can see it but it has the voltage of the panels coming in, the voltage of the battery. Right now it's in absorption mode, so it's running about 14.7. Um, you have your volts, or the amps panel and the amps battery. You just push this button to move over to a different display. I'll do that right now. That brings you your 
that just tells you your auxiliary outputs on the top one and then you got your the float voltage right now is set at 13.5 it'll stay on absorption I think it's for an hour and then it'll go down to the float it's temperature compensated it's set on the dip switches are set on 12 volt because that's what I'm running right now switch over it's or the absorption you can disable that it's it's enabled it's been on for 15 minutes <coughs> the equalization is disabled and then it gives you the time and I think that is automatically set so it'll equalize like once a month switch over to the next page we have the P PWN 42 and then it's like the battery likes 14.3 to 14.8 right now it also keeps track of your amp hours I haven't read up on this yet if you want to go if you want to read more about it go to Intronics Power Inc. IntronicsPower.com There it is. I'm really half the I got number four welding wire going into it. That's the only thing the it was a little bit hard shoving that number four wire into the acceptors they have there, but I got them in so for the price, I mean this is really a pretty good deal. Thanks, YouTube.